be learning about two important set of questions for your interview very important so now i won't be dealing with something like basic set of interview questions so today i'll be dealing out with little more advanced set of interview questions that is about you know we'll just try to understand few important layers for the interview got it oh hold on hold on so today we'll be learning about two important pragmatic layers for the interview and i hope my voice is audible for all of you yes thumbs up just show up yeah manas we just noted down family all these things okay because as your for day part today yeah so now there are two important layers for your advanced level interview questions that means that as i said always you know interview is not just about asking questions and you people should be answering for the same that is not interview right interview is also not something like you should be answering for every questions correctly no there is different layers for the marking in an interview very simple process i'm repeating once again there are different layers for marking in an interview one how much honest you are right for example if i am basically okay that's not my beat okay if i am basically recruiting a person for a college interview i want to see whether people who is working with me are they very ethical are they very determined are they being very honest in any work they do got it simple i just need to check their honesty two how much ever knowledge this particular kid has is he portraying whom he is worth of it for example if babia is telling that see pavan this is my leadership skills this is what i have basically achieved for this thing her worth if is basically showed i as an institution will surely be accepting her why it's a brand name for my college will i be rejecting a person like that no i will not be rejecting for it why because it's a big benefit for me similar way how much if you are trying to bluff also you will be caught in an interview so there are some creamy layers of bluffing you can do i will teach you what is that possible especially in online interview it was due possible but in an offline interview it is not that possible you will be really caught wet hand and even though you you prepare and go that such a way also you know for online interview what uh, kids used to do they used to take this uh, sheet and i think manas we know for the fact last time when we were having the session i was like these kids used to write, take a paper they used to write down keywords over there and they used to stick in the laptop here and there okay they know for the fact vision and mission will be asked they know this question is going to be asked so just come and this is by heart and just tell it out or if there are some doubts you just look up and down but when it is an offline interview you cannot expect anything like that you are ditto completely are scanned in an interview got it so these are the something and the last important stage of marking is about how much aware are you about you yourself about your particular surrounding for the same cool as of now pratik am i clear for you pratik yes yeah am i clear right still clear yeah okay so these are four grounds of marking for an interview layer of asking questions now today we'll be learning about something about name related questions for an interview okay i'm teaching you now the advanced level of interview questions these questions they can surely ask they cannot ask see as i said you all the interview questions which are dealing for today it is something which is for sure they can ask or they cannot ask because i cannot predict what they are going to ask but it's very important for you to prepare in such a way that any questions being asked it is your responsibility to answer it in a such more efficient and more effective manner is it clear for all of you now here comes the first important point that is about in an interview just write over the name related questions and place related questions name related questions and place related questions that's enough for today i'm like that's enough for what we'll be discussing for today <coughs> yeah okay so we have um revan revan you can unmute yes sir yeah so revan tell me what is the meaning of any revan according to sanskrit it's a net sun it's called as sun okay all right okay all right um good great all right and uh, vishal sir actually my full name is vishal deep okay and it refers to light deep late okay all right good all right that's great wonderful and i think one small suggestion for both revanth and vishal both of you said that revanth means sun vishal means lighting uh, this one why don't you add something an extra layer which you can basically stand out from the crowd i say always you know in an interview if you really want to stand out something extra you have to provide 
got it now revan gave an answer vishal gave an answer pragati gave will be giving an answer pratik will be giving an answer manasvi bhavya everyone will be saying the same thing but how do you think being an interviewer if i want to mark i should be giving one person extra mark than the other person how does that make a difference can one of you answer what in that answering should it be different so that one person will get more marks than the other person guess priyan so we can add even more the meanings and then also the references that is happening over the world and then the ancient scripts texts and also the real time examples that we can give you to give a even more uh, effective touch to the meaning of the no 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 no, no. but anyway good try thank you so much we cannot give real time examples for a name but yes indeed we can give a real time examples for a current affairs aspect but for name and all how will you give current this one so answering towards that question so pragati should i answer or you want to put, give some input yeah we should add like why our parents gave us this name and then like uh, what was their motive behind giving us good that. excellent correct correct that's one more thing see now for example if i was revan i would have said that uh, my name is revan which is a sanskrit uh, meaning of sun which is basically mean about shining into an other person's life got it so try to define it over there so now if vishal also was the same thing he actually both of the name is somewhat similar for the same uh, for example vishal means what it's light uh, lamp right lamp lighting of lamp yeah which basically means lighting up to one person's full potential as well as lighting another person's life so if you're able to give your name plus define it you will be able to stand out of the crowd clear i know some names there is no meaning but yeah i hope name related questions you should be little cautious some of the interviewers you know at least for fun sake they'll be asking okay, okay chalo batao uh, what do you think about this and uh, tell me what is the full name of it so when they ask about it you guys should be literally prepared cool is it clear name related questions in an interview is it clear pakka okay now i'll be asking out your name so example my name is pavan and pavan in sanskrit is basically known as wind so which basically means that i'm unstoppable that means that i have to always keep on hustling in my life and always create a value in essence in anything i do got it that is the meaning of my name so try to name understand the name and purpose of that name is very much important and very much crucial cool little by little even though if you're studying it's fine you have a lot of time but provided which every day half an hour if you're able to study it's more than enough cool i will pick out some people over here i want to know your name and what is the meaning of it i'll just give you 5 seconds to think about it and then i'll randomly call out names Yeah, Devyani. You called my name. Yeah, Devyani. Hello. Yeah. Ha. So, uh, my name is Devyani Deepi, and the word Devyani originated from Sri Mad Bhagavad Gita, chapter eleven and five, uh, verse five. And Devyani means divine, and my entire name is being divine light. So. i think my it was given to me because i will lighten up the entire presence wherever i am and my parents were very hopeful about me and in fact i think i'm living up to the expectation of my name because i try to live up to the expectation of my name that was given to me good excellent wonderful now uh manasvi what about you yes my name is <clears throat> My name is Manasvi, and it was derived from the Sanskrit word Manasvini. So Manasvi is basically the short form, uh, and it means intelligence. So uh, I think my parents kept that name because they want me to think uh, and take decisions with intelligence and not be emotionally direct, emotionally overflow. Good, excellent, wonderful. Ah, uh, Pratik. Yeah, Pratik. Uh, my name is Pratik, and it means a symbol, symbol of something, symbol of happiness and joy. That I hope. You're happy and joy. I can't. Pratik. Happy and joy. Like I can't come up with something like Pratik. That's it. Yeah, I was just asking. Are you happy and fine? Joy. Yeah, right now I am. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, tell me one incident where you were the most happiest in your life. Like to know my grandparents and the love, the love for me, for them, like it's most joyful and happiness. Incident. It brings Incident. in my life. Incident. Incident. Yeah. Incident. Think about it. Anything. Just think. Just think. This is your interview. <laughs> Real live interview. So just they're asking you. an incident which has made you very much happy and joy no nah, i don't think uh, i don't know an incident but just i am happy guy i don't need some incident there to be there was no happy. incident you were more happy in your life no i don't so. <laughs> sorry <laughs> all right fine prati so yeah guys so this is something very important you should be very cautious when your name is given when your explanation is given it is natural that in an interview they can ask you for an explanation or they can ask you for an incident you see that how the series of questions can basically overflow right either they can ask you a name then ask you this one then tell me one incident this one so this is also basically called as behavioral based of questions linking towards your name okay today this much gyan is enough so thank you so much gyan first of all you people attend my session next time then i'll see you taking more gyan award so yeah this much gyan is enough for now all of you in the next class your homework is very simple uh, you are going to make a list of um what do you call a list of in your names what is the meaning out of it and an incident for that same okay incidents optional not always required so just see what could be the parallel set of questions they can ask you for the next time cool and uh, babia are you there yes sir yeah I'm babia here. can you just take a small uh, photo of the people who are here so just to note down for their attendance and can you send it to me in whatsapp i'm yes, not able sir. to swap the screen that's fine Yeah. Four, three. Yeah. Only one side I got it. I think Bhavya, you got the other side, right? Yes, sir. I got it. Perfect. Done. All right. So that's enough for today. Today's Gyan Samachar is done. So make sure the next time one of you people attend it, no more excuse for the same. Okay. So when sessions are called, Parli come and then I will. <coughs> I'll be doing. I'm so sorry. I'm not feeling well. So uh, can I take the questions later? Is it fine? Okay, just drop me pers. Just drop in your respective groups. I will be tagging you. Huh? Okay, take it. Take it. Bye bye. All of you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Th